Shoo! Welcome back, folks. We've oh, she's excited. Look yeah, at the collar, this, folks. Don't you? Oh, Lucy, you get it. You get it. Oh, no. uh, well, we've got duck stuff that are now is now alive. I should say, uh, Millie. Millie, get you aren't a duck hunting dog. I promise. Uh, you don't look like one either. But Lucy is in fact a duck hunting dog, and we got brand new duck stuff that is now available, which is linked down the description down below at duckshortfile.com, and there's limited supply of everything. Once it's gone. It is gone, but we've got waiter straps banjo, so we don't need your pants hiking up. That's never good for anybody. You put them around your pants, you put your waders on so your pants don't slide up. Extremely important, very overlooked item in the waterfall industry that is super crucial. We've also got a mid-range choke tube for, well, dove and teal. Oh, she's excited. You need there, water. there you get it. Nice That's water. an insulated dog bowl, by the way. Ducks insulated dog bowl, now available, but the mid-range is good for fast flying birds folks yes yeah, so we had a long range last year it works great but unless you're like really really dialed a mid-range is going to help you get more birds on the ground that are flying really really fast especially on the dove and the teal the smaller birds you start working up in the mallards and the honk daddies and once you get by that time you're usually dialed in right you start start with dove which is the hardest then you go to teal and then you start getting to the bigger ducks and by then you can swap it out for a long range choke tube which is also going to be available and we've got some feather light feather light. weight long sleeves super lightweight we had some last year that were the cup ducks you guys loved them we loved them but even we since it was super unseasonably hot last year during early season um we were still sweating a little bit so we made them like extremely lightweight they look good uh they're the super breathable yeah the wind goes right through you so if you live down south or you're hunting early early season they're and they got a hood so you put the hood up you're gonna look you're gonna look good yeah, look yeah. at you you're a dove slayer like 3000 and then banjo's Speaking also got Woo, banjo is the dove slayer 3000 we got a dove shirt um which is also gonna sell out we also have a fast food shirt that is our blooming teal shirt and we've got just a sick brown that's a brand new color we've never had before we've got the classic cup ducks hat we got the og uh olive hat and then we've got the bumper which we had these last year they are restocked and once they're gone they are gone we're gonna be doing a little work with she's excited we're gonna do a little work with lucy here um oh and we got a leash look at that so we can uh, we can sh we can show that off today with I was Lucy. Taking Casey through the neighborhood. How'd that go? All the dogs are jealous. Were they really? Yeah. I mean, there's leather. Yeah. <laughs> what dog leash has yeah, leather on? This thing bougie. is bougie. It's quick release. You just let them go and i'll show you guys today how i use it she's really good honestly she doesn't really usually break but safety is always priority when everyone gets excited starts hooping and hollering yelling shoe and whatnot last thing you want your dog doing is breaking out there into the decoy spread or going after a bird while we're still you know popping cripples and whatnot because banjo's big ground pound guy she's got the collar and on. she's got the collar it's a, good. that's a waterproof collar by the way oh, um it looks really really good yeah. so all right lucy we're gonna hook you up buddy she's she's never on a leash so she's gonna be slightly confused here and we're gonna do a little little training with her nothing too crazy we're getting ready for dove season that's probably the first video you guys are gonna see and we're gonna try out the brand new ducks products to see if lucy is ready for dove season so you stay tuned come on buddy oh man this does look good yeah this is nice millie you're not a duck hunting dog millie really she don't out. yeah she don't believe it all right so i'm not a, i'm not a professional okay so don't just just relax here's what works for me i'm gonna tell you what works for me it may not work for you when i'm hunting with lucy if I don't bring a stake to put in the ground, we're moving spots, we're walking through the marsh, and I wanna ensure she doesn't break, here's what I do. We put this nice loop here, all right? She said, she said, see you later. She said, oh, we'll man. work on that in a bit. I'll put this around my boots or waders, or whatever. I know, I am telling you, like having a dog attached to you while holding a firearm is probably not the safest thing on the planet. I'm telling you, it works for me and it might work for you. It's super easy because you don't have to bring a stake with you. But we have this nice loop here. Here's what you do, you ready? Put it through the loop, just like this. It's tight. Yes, she's on my leg. She's not a freaking great thing. She's not going to drag me down the marsh, all right? So this is what I do. See, so she tries to run. I'm, it, it, you look at this and you're like, oh, he's just going to get drugged down the marsh with a gun and start shooting everything. It's not going to happen, okay? She can't pull me. Look, see? Look. You want me to test and throw this or what? Well, no, I don't really <laughs> want to teach her that. But, <laughs> but this is extra safety precaution. This is not a must. This is not an always. Again, anytime you've got guns and dogs, you got to be careful. And you don't want them breaking. She's trained. She usually doesn't break, but I'm just letting you know the way we designed the dog leash for ducks is for this. But you can also put a stake in the ground and put them up to a stake. Like e either way, and the, the, the length is perfect. Yeah. She, she's not, she can hardly get out of an arm's reach. Mm -hmm. She can still have range of motion and do her thing and walk around, but I think it's a good, good length. So, all right, Lucy, come here. Millie, you, you're not a duck. All right, stay. See, you didn't need the leash, but I had it just in case. Stay. Fetch! There it is. Come on, Lucy. Come here, girl. Good. Good girl. 
See, you didn't need the leash, but she had it just in case. And here's the other thing with dogs. I guess I'm not a professional trainer. I at least trained her to do that. That's worth something, I guess. I don't know. Not having her on the leash will allow her to break. And if she breaks and then brings it back and you're like, bad Lucy, bam, which I would never do. You just told her she brought this back and that was not what you wanted, which is going to confuse the hell out of her. You're getting mad because she broke, but she did what she was supposed to do, which is bring it back. So this is, it's preventative training. Banjo. It's helping her succeed. Yes. Set her up for success. S setting her up for success and not failing. Get yourself a freaking dog leash from Ducks, which will be linked down in the description down below. Tie her off to your leg. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but you can if you would like to, or you can put it up on a post. And Millie and Lucy are humping each other. With that being said, go to DucksWaterFile.com, link down below. All this stuff is now available, and it will sell out fast. So, with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Yeah, it's dark out. You're probably thinking, Oh, Flair's going deck hunting. He's going dove hunting. He's doing something cool. No. Banjo's dumbass. Hey. Well, Banjo's okay, I, I, I take that back. That was, I that found was mean. the place, so we don't have to do it ourselves. We're butchering chickens at 6 in the morning. That's what's happening right now, I'll be honest. It's, uh, I'm loving this life. Is... I had a Red Bull. I'm feeling great this I'm morning. I'm not. I'm tired. I want to go home. It's about at 1. This is not good. But you guys are about to get catch, clean, cut. Yeah, yeah. See, he's excited. <laughs> Catch, clean, cook. And the other ones over there are about to get catch, clean, cook. And we are gonna be butchering all of our chickens, which there's like three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 ish right there. And then I think another 18 or 20, so like 40 some chickens. And I know some of you guys are like, Leah, I thought you were this big farmer. Why aren't you just butchering them yourself? But listen, Rick. Okay, butchering that many chickens is totally doable. But to do them right, to do them quick, effectively, efficiently, it would take a, it would be a full day process. You buy a plucker, you have to plunge them, you have to have like a whole assembly line. And I was like, man, I'm just not sure that it's worth it. Maybe there's a place that will just do them for process, just like a deer. Like, can you do a deer yourself? But you've got nothing to prove in life. Just take it to the butcher shop. That's the same thing that we're dealing with here. I'm like, get it done right. Plus, Macy, she doesn't really trust my cleanliness and and like up to code. You know when I'm, you you guys seen how I cook and clean. So she's like, she wants to eat this chicken. It's like it's good. That up. That thing got ran over. What is there bigger ones? No, that's the biggest one. We're gonna have to steal Millie's. We're gonna need everything we. I would just let's just line up everything we got. I mean, we have a lot of chickens. We might have to. Oh crap. Okay, what I was saying was Macy doesn't really trust my cleaning and like like sanitary up to code stuff. And she's like, listen, if you want me eating these chickens, then you need to take them to a professional food grade facility. Which I'll be honest, I don't really disagree with her because I tend to gut an animal and then like cook the meal. Sometimes m maybe rinse the hands in between, which I know, I know, I know. It's like, oh, that's so gross. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm here. I'm not dead. I made it. It is what it is. And then we've got Brooklyn, right? So if we're going to feed her chicken this is what we raise this chicken for our family i'm like yeah i can't risk it i can't do it. plus it's quick it's effective it's cheap it like literally we're supposed to get there at 7 45 and they're like it's didn't they say like 15 minutes look at this guy he's a yeah, beef cake between appointments, like, yeah so booked, it, it, yeah 15 in minutes. 15 minutes so like you're gonna butcher 30 40 chickens in 15 minutes and then they're supposed to be pre-packaged and we can do whole chickens and they can chop them up, them up they yeah. cut them up so we can just have like the breasts and the thighs and the legs so it, to me it makes more sense doing i know like i trust me as much as i would love to spend the rest of today cleaning chicken i really wouldn't uh, i think t this is the smartest thing and i'm wow that's three that's four that's seven <laughs> You yeah, like 30 other chickens. Yeah, I could have swore we had another big dog, but no, Millie's. It's just Millie. They, we're gonna do these. We're gonna show up these guys. And be like, what in the hell? You got you ever done this before? And I'm like, no, I haven't. I, I haven't done this before. As a matter of fact, can't believe that. That was a nice kennel too. That's the plan. We'll figure out how we're gonna transport them. But we are harvesting chickens, and we are going to try our farm-raised chickens against Costco's infamous rotisserie chicken. It's like everyone's always like, Costco has the best rotisserie chicken and it is very, very good. I've never made a rotisserie chicken, but we are gonna try that today and try to compare. Can we tell the difference between Costco's rotisserie chicken and our farm rice chicken? You guys stay tuned. Just 
lot of freaking chickens, buddy. Oh, I got chat on. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm gonna get chat on at 6 a.m. That's Golly, good. We're on the tit. Like, like a, a glove. Look at that. We're ready for harvesting. I mean, what else could you ask for? Not to have sh on my arm. <laughs> uh, that, that's too much to ask. That's too much to ask for. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. That, that took us twice as long as it should have. We're late. We'll see you guys at the farm. Shoo! Alright, we made it to the processing plant. We are ready to huh? Can we film? Oh my god, that's what I'm saying. These guys are already chilling, so that's good. So we, we made it to the processing area. This is where uh, the chickens are gonna get processed professionally, Macy approved. And they were just asking if we want to use this. There you go. You got it. The chickens, uh, the the liver and the gizzards, and I was like, yeah, we could keep us catfish bait. So we'll see. But I don't know how much we're gonna be able to show you guys. We are gonna post the full uncut version of how this happens on Uncut, which will be linked down in the description down below. And we are giving away Lunkers TV personal truck on there. So if you do sign up, you're automatically gonna be entered. And every month that you are signed up, you will get an additional entry, and we will be giving away at the end of the year. So if you want to see how these chickens are processed and have a chance at winning an eighty thousand dollar truck, I would suggest you click the link down in the description down below and go to Uncut and check it out. Like I said, I'll film everything I can, but YouTube, we're going to have to chop it up in a certain way just to, you know, not get completely uh, canceled on this uh, on this deal. So, with that being said, we'll, we'll see what these boys are up to. <coughs> wow, there it is. See you, <laughs> see, see you later. <coughs> right in my eye. I'm not sure what's happening right now. Man. I'm just covered in chicken Oh, look at the old shoes. You're rude. It's like I stood behind somebody who trusted a fart, you know? Well, I smell like ass. How hot's that water? Hot 150. So cut their head off, bleed them out, 150 degrees. For how long do you put them in the water? 30 seconds. And then they've got a plucker. A bunch of rubber nipples spin around. <laughs> They're all naked. Yeah. That is insanely efficient. Wow. Look at the harvest, boys. I bet those guys throwing the chicken. Yeah. yeah. There's your gizzard. Oh yeah. yeah. That's your there, chick There's the old catfish, catfish bait. bait. It's the only reason why to raise chickens, right? <laughs> Just the catfish bait. Just the catfish bait. bait. Thank God you have this giant. I say cooler. that cooler worked. Yeah. Good. That was about right. Pack it full of ice. Yeah. We're gonna hit the road. We are gonna head to Costco, pick up one of their rotisserie chickens, try to attempt to make a rotisserie chicken, and see which one we like better. So stay tuned. Made to Costco. We are ready to uh, go try to find some chicken. What's going on there? Is there a chicken all right? That's she it. Knows. Look at that. Oh god, yeah. This thing. Costco has nothing on this guy. I, I'm hoping so. I don't know, dude. Costco. Everything you get at Costco, Loki slaps. But we gotta try because I feel like out of all, maybe this is like not around your guys' area, but everyone just talks about the rotisserie chicken. It's super cheap. I think it's like five bucks or something like that. Super good rotisserie chicken. And so we're gonna try to compete with it and see if we can make a better rotisserie Macy's. chicken. Macy is. Macy's gonna be doing the ro rotisserating. Uh, she's supposed to be getting all the ingredients and stuff. I'll have to call her just to double check. The other thing about rotisserie chicken is it takes like three or four hours. So it's gonna be a dinner adventure, which is fine. Not a big deal. This good things take time in life, but we're gonna do our best to beat the professionals in the rotisserie chicken area, which is Costco. So stay tuned. Plant based. <laughs> You got that dipping sauce in the picture or no? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was terrible. That was bad. I spit mine out. I might yak. Really? That out. tastes like a little I ass. could tell by your face you weren't feeling it. <laughs> Dude, there was chunks of carrot. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I need something to wash it down with now. I'll take a frittata. Everybody's about the frittata life. Okay. Uh, oh, I see what's, I see what's going on. Oh my on. goodness. Welcome to Costco. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't know how. You enjoy feeling it? It's, yeah. That am. How we doing? Mi mini tacos. Oh. That's it. Mm. Wow. That might be a 9 out of 10. That's delicious. That's the best one yet. All right, that's enough sampling. Time to get down to the... Get down to the... Dude, I told you, four ninety nine. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever seen? How do you get all... All that meat for five dollars. That's they're bigger than ours, I think. You I think? I don't know if they are. Are they? Uh, that's pretty heavy. You feel think? That. Yeah, you gotta feel that. Oh my, that's that's dense. Ours maybe. I don't think ours are that big. So it's close. Are. It's close. But for five, we were doing the math. I mean, we just paid hundred and forty dollars just to get them processed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's four dollars a chicken just to get them processed. Wow. That's without. I think food. It, we we did the math. 
we think we probably spent 30 or 40 bucks per bird over the course of of all the food, all the waters, the enclosures. So if it's not better, you can go out and say it. Economically, you're probably better off at Costco. But if you want to grow your own food, hey, that's up to you. You got to put your membership cost in this one though. Oh. It's not just free to walk in here. We're using yeah, my true. chickens. Do you have to eat from Costco to equal yeah. out the membership? That's true. The member, the how much is the membership? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks a year, you think? Yeah, it's like eighty or hundred, something like that. So if you're only here for chicken, then maybe it wouldn't be worth it. But I would imagine they got a, they have a few more things than yeah. than just chicken. So well, I'm gonna look for more samples, and uh, you guys stay tuned. So I've been to Costco like twice. The one thing I've heard though, they're you've seen that big how big that schnitzel oh, is. Oh, it's good. There? Yeah. You've had them before? Yeah, I usually get the chicken bakes, but this chicken bake. Sixty-nine cents. Yeah, give me the you know, sixty-nine cents. Why don't I come here more often? <laughs> You'd spend so much Dude, money if they here. had a rack of soft plastics, this is all the place I'd go. Uh, all beef hot dog with a drink, a chicken bake, and then two more drinks. I can't believe this is nine bucks. I know. For three three drinks is usually nine dollars. Dude, that, I'm telling you, what that's gonna change hell? your life. It's gonna change it's your life. It's the world's largest hot pot. Dude, it's so good. I was skeptical the first time I had it, but it, it's gonna Why be really Why is everything hot. here just massive? They're just, they get it. All that for nine dollars. Look at that, that wiener in your mouth. There's a little dangle action. Yeah, so Carlos would love this place. Tips just dead. Is yeah. there mustard? Yeah. No. Like that? Yeah. Just wiener. Man, how's that wiener? Dude, that is really, really good. You can tell that's all beef. Legit wiener? That's a legit wiener. Damn. For that's a dollar fifty. That's a dense wiener. That's a, I'm gonna try some bun. Mmm. That's it. Better with the bun. Now you gotta go a little dessert a action. Dollar fifty? Or should I try your hot pocket? What's going on here? It might be a little hot, but you can go for it. Should I try it? It usually burns the shit first bite. Yeah, banjo's the, the daily here. So there's chicken in there? Yeah, I don't know what else. Cheese, some other shit probably. <laughs> nah, just some other shit. I don't know. <laughs> Woo! I told uh, you it was gonna be hot. Uh, I warned you. I don't even know what I would describe that. I'll be honest, like it's good, it's good. If I'm Costco and I'm like, what should we put on the menu? What? This is like the most, just yeah. like you have a hot dog's pizza and then I don't know what this is. This no. is chicken bake is not the name for this. No. Chicken bake reminds me of a baked chicken. This is like bougie hot pocket with like Italian cheese on it. I mean, it's good, like I like it, but it's just, it's. I've never had anything like it. It's very unique. Yeah, I don't know. Is there some bacon in there? I don't know what else. Maybe it's just it looks like a bunch of cheese, some other Probably. They're missing a little chocolate dip sauce, but I'll, really? let, I'll let it slide for nine bucks. Oh my god. You've had churros and they're so crunchy, it's like meh. This is like more like doughy. What, what's it laughing about? I'm gonna eat my churros. It's kind of doughy. I'm a fan of it. Like, churros are. You want like, like, like crispy. Like I want, at Taco Bell, the little cinnamon twist. Yeah, where it's, like, yeah, it's about It's crispy that. on the outside, but fluffy on the inside. Mm. I just realized we're eating all this food. I'm gonna go home and eat a whole two whole chickens. Two whole chickens. Well, that's not in three hours. That's it. That's see, this is a this is pregame. So, Costco, food wise, I'd say the food tasting is probably an eight and a half. The fact that it was nine dollars brings up to about a nine and a half. This is about as good as it gets. So now that we've eaten, we're gonna hang out, enjoy our meal. We'll see you guys at the house. Shoo! Look at the harvest, baby. We made it back. That right there, what you're looking at, well, that's bloody, so I can't do that. That right there, what you're looking at, is a delicious farm-raised, homegrown chicken. So the gentleman that was there, super nice, hung out with the owner, and, uh, you know, he left some whole, he left some half, and he left some, what was the broken he, back uh, one? spatchcocked us. Spat spatchcocked it, which is, you, you flatten her down. Then he did a half, and then he did some where he took off the wings, the thighs, the legs, and then the breast with the bone, I guess. So it's more chunked out, and then packaged it in like three or four different ways, which is what we were wanting. So again, huge shout out to you for letting us come out and film. If you want to see exactly what happened, you have to go check out Uncut, because that's where it was insane. I've never seen anything like it in my life. But unfortunately, YouTube does not allow it. So we ended up actually clearing out some space in the freezer. You can see, what, this is what we still have. The boys took a whole bunch home, but we've got, I mean, you can see, we got still some hands from the, the pig. I mean, this thing's just, look, look down here. This is all full, two layers of sausage. There's still a lot of deer. Is that cheese or rice? 
Uh, cheese and rice, both. Yeah, yeah. cheese and rice. Yeah, Just rip, rip to those guys. But we still have some meat, some breakfast sausage. We're we're chipping away at it, but we did clear enough room for the chickens. So we're gonna be taking some chickens. And we talked to the guys, and they said that it, they didn't. They thought that the chickens were a little small, but then we explained to them that they were pasture raised, and they were like, okay, this makes sense. So I think the first batch was a little on the small side for what they like because our one batch was like kind of not max but like pretty old. These ones are pretty big. I mean that's a decent that's size. A, that's a grocery store size chick. I mean that's that's the a full size chick. The one we bought yeah. was three pounds. I mean dude that's heavy dude. Yeah. Yeah. They thought that it was three pounds yeah. than these were so it's the yeah. same as the Costco. It's the same as Costco. Yeah. So I don't think the, our big ones weren't small. No. So we've got a whole bunch of chicken. I mean, oh yeah and then that stuff there that's the old gizzard. That's, 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 that's the old ki the kitty cat food right there. That's all the old gizzards and livers and so that'll go in the, that's the bait. That'll, freezer. that'll go in the bait freezer here. So that's pieced out. And that's a half go. chicken, actually. Yeah. That's oh, breast, that's what they did. Wing thigh. Yep. Leg. Oh yeah, because they they put in two bags. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. that's that, that'll be super that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's easy. Then you don't have to thaw a freaking whole chicken. Yeah, you you're basically gonna cook one. You need half a chicken. Not there a whole you go. Chicken. Now you're set. So we're gonna get all this unloaded, loaded up in the freezer, take one inside. Macy is gonna make a rotisserie chicken and see if we can make our homemade farm-raised chicken taste better than the Costco one. Stay tuned. Shoo! We are back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the next morning, believe it or not. Fun fact, rotisserie chickens take like four or five hours. By the time we got home, we would have been eating at like 8 p.m. and I was like, <laughs> it's breakfast time for, for Brooklyn. Banjo's on feeding, dude. What's, nope. she, what's she eating, Banjo? Some waffles, some eggs, and some berries. So it is, it's that early in the morning right now, but we want to get it in so we can go and at least we can have for lunch. That's the plan. So Macy's taking over the cooking and I was like, well, we need to make a rotisserie chicken that can compete with Costco's $5 rotisserie chicken, even though this is like probably a $100 chicken at this point. But there's our chicken. It's washed off or rinsed off, dried off, and you've got the ingredients and they're May or may not oh, be no, a, that's just there might be a feather skin. laying around. And we've got some potatoes. Fingerling that, potatoes. I'll be honest, look like turds. Carrots and onions, and that'll all go in with it. Then yep. we've got some garlic, some lemon, and then some spices. And what, what what's in the spice container here? Brown sugar, salt, pepper, cumin, paprika, chili powder, garlic. No ducks all meat. What the no. heck? What the f I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so what's what, how are we doing this? We got okay. olive oil. You want to do this? You no, 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 this is you. I just, I'll be the commentator. All right, oh. coming from the left field. Uh, no, that's the wrong. Go. Keep going. Fine. So we got olive oil. Oh, just straight on the hand. We got to rub the chicken. I feel like this belongs on a different channel, no? What do you think about that? Oh my god. You're just rubbing your chicken. So we're, we're getting the chicken rubbed down now in olive oil, which is gonna do what? It's gonna crisp it up? Is it gonna keep the seasoning sticking? What are we thinking? All the above. See? You're right on. I watched Pioneer Woman here and there. I got it done. Um, <laughs> do you want Do I need to stuff the cavity <laughs> after you've rubbed the chicken? Stuff it. <laughs> With what? What am I stuffing it with? All the garlic, and then okay. put some garlic, put some lemon, put some more garlic, put some lemon. I'm stuffing the cavity, Banjo. How's Good that make job. you feel? Amazing. Stop it. Poke. I just, oh, it oh, just, oh, just, oh, just shat it out. Put it back. Well, now it's coming out the bottom. Just even, even coating. <laughs> Does she have food, Banjo? Is it time for water? Oh yeah, she yeah, needs, she needs a drink. Do you have to open it? Yeah, just give us your watch, watch, ready? She has to bite the lip and then the water comes out. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah, she figured that out. I, I took me at least an hour to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have gotten She's that. She's got it dialed. And then this just goes in the pot with it? Yep. Okay, where's the, pan, where's the pan? Do we need uh, it? It's heating up. It's mm -hmm. gotta get to 300, so we're almost It's close enough. Okay, okay pot's on. ready. Okay, chicken going in. And then the potatoes. <laughs> Carrots and onions. No celery? No. <laughs> You were on baby duty, Banjo. She's What's out of food. I don't know how to make her happy. <laughs> She's <laughs> pissed. She wants food. Oh! She said no. Oh! <laughs> there it is. There, give her a slice. Yeah. She's pissed. There, there you go. How's that? Dad That's tax. pretty good. Is that pretty solid? <laughs> dad, the dad tax? Uncle Banjo tax. Uncle Banjo tax. tax. He has yeah. to try it. Are we done? What's, what's, what's yeah. the plan? No, no, no stock, no nothing. Just straight up. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go back on. Yep. All right, in the oven at 300 for about three hours. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, chicken is done. That, that's the Costco chicken. That's a dang good looking chicken. I will give it to them. That's a good looking chicken. So we got one chicken and then we got the farm raised chicken. Oh, that's a heavy guy. Oh God, yeah. Ooh, she so is still good. steaming. She's been in there for a long time. We, uh, 
went out, filmed another video, came back, chicken's ready. So, how do they make it look like that? I feel like what that looks mean? really good. Like, I'm not saying this looks like, bad, but... Like the glaze like the, kind of just, look? Don't yeah. you just want to... How do you get that crispy mm. skin? I don't so know. Good. I don't know how they do it. All right, well, let's get this out on the cutting board and start chopping. Don't burn your chicken now. Some good seasoning. Pretty good for a carrot. You ready? You know how to cut these up? Yeah. All right. This, is, you. this is your shell here. There you go. You got it. Oh. You pulling the back right out of him. There it is. There it is. Barely. Look at that. Just literally falls apart. Wow. It's a rib cage there. Wow. All right. Why don't do you want me to brush it now, or do you want to do you want to piece it out? I don't and give her the old brush. Yeah. Is that the one little she was playing with earlier? Yeah. 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 We can always. It could be like Ajay. You can dunk it. Give the old dip. Give her the old dip. Like primary right. skill. She's hilarious, by the way. What'd she say? I said Aju. She said bless you. She took a da dad joke. Oh, <laughs> took, it, took it out of the book. Looks dry, I'll be honest. He just eating potatoes. What are you eating? Potato. I just hear him going munching. Yeah, over he's there. just chewing. Do you want that some looks butter? dry, dude. I don't know, man. Costco. Might have messed up. I don't know. It's looking pretty okay, dry, well, Costco. Skin's all coming off. And made it skinless? I didn't. It just it wouldn't come off with it. All right, so we got a breast over here. I'm gonna start cutting up this guy. Wow. wow. I mean, <laughs> ours is gonna be juicy. I can tell you that much. This was we. I will say we picked a smaller chicken than like this isn't our biggest chicken. We actually picked a smaller one just so it would cook a little faster. But if you guys remember, the I mean, wow. You can't tell me. There's no way they didn't even be close. Remember when we did the catch cook the first time? These chickens were even smaller than that. Mm -hmm. So it's like and, we, and those were really they were good. Really good. That oh, looks yeah. so much more tender. It is. That, that, that's you. That was the first guy she tells not to worry yeah. about it right there. Okay. All right. We're going in for some breast. I'm going to try Costco. Dry. Very, very dry. Need a I'm not exaggerating. Well, no, that is pretty dry. That's extremely dry. <laughs> Tastes good, but it's really, really dry. All you right. need a carrot to cleanse your palate? This is, this is the farm raised. Cleanse my palate. It's not even close. Really? Oh, farm raised. We blew all it day. Water or now all? it could be unfair because we've been soaking it. For real. But that's dry. For white meat, that is pretty. That's, that's pretty really, good. Really good. Your flavoring's better than Costco for sure. Yeah. Like by far. Here's the thing though. You know what Costco has you beat on? The skin. Yeah. You have soggy skin. What's up with that? There's mm -hmm. that's soggy. I'm not about the soggy that. life. This it, honestly doesn't look crispy either though. Oh, I'm digging in right here. See that's me. There's a little crisp. That's crispy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. With, if you like the skin, yeah, this Here, is better. You hear that? Yeah, I think if we can figure out the skin, ours would be better because the skin's really good on the Costco one. All right, you can try this. What? Oh. oh, there ain't gonna be no leg right here, buddy. Just gotta give her the old, the old cut. That's a boneless, boneless wow. leg right there. Try that guy right in somewhere. This is this is the yeah, Costco one. That's Costco. Hmm, that's pretty good. Not Versus even close. Our flavor's way better. Way better. Yeah. Like way. the skin was good on that one, but like this one tastes. If we can get better. if we can get the skin dialed, it's not even close. It's juicier. There's way more flavor. Way yeah. more flavor. Not, not it even would question. Probably help if I used like a roasting pan. Yeah. Like just look at that. There was or just too much maybe... steam going on, so it. Yeah. It if I like this is, left this the... was like when they open when they do the rotisserie, it's like open, open so it's like Broiling air time, and maybe. whatever. Like this is. That's why it's falling off the bone. Besides the crispiness of the skin factor. I mean, this is probably a nine and a half out of 10, and that's probably like a seven and a half. Yeah, I was gonna say six and nine. I mean, look at this. The bone just, like the bone just pop, pops right out, and there's your meat. Hmm. We beat Costco today. Yeah. Like I said, if you're going for fried, well, this isn't even fried chicken. If you're going for just like straight up carnivore, eating chicken legs and stuff, and Costco with the crispiness beat us, but the actual meat, if you're gonna like shred it up. Did you just eat a lemon? lemon? Yeah, I would try it. What's wrong with it? You good? I don't think you had to. I had to the viewers. Mm. Macy, which one do you like more? She's just been picking out a Costco one. <laughs> I don't know. Because we didn't grow it. Yeah, I did. I tried a piece of this. It was really hot. Yeah, I have a, piece, a piece of that. It's a lot Crazy. more tender than Costco. You know what's funny? The guy that we had the butcher of the chickens, he said, ours is going to be tougher than Costco because you're supposed to freeze them and then thaw them and that breaks it down. And we didn't even freeze it. So it's it. going to get even more tender. So when we yeah. thaw out the chicken, it should get even better. That's mm -hmm. crazy. I mean, we I would say we blew Costco out of the water. I mean, it's not. We. Listen, Rip. We raised them for eight months, eight eight weeks. Did you ever feed them? No. Not one time did she feed them. So it was a we. 
All right, we raised them. Macy chefed them up. We just gotta figure out that skin strap. We gotta figure out the crispy skin. So let us know, how do you get a crispy skin? Is it because there was a lid? I, I feel like this was almost like a steamed chicken yeah, versus like, a open fire type deal, but what do you think? I feel like you need to buy a rotisserie. How about and you could cook one on an actual rotisserie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and say, by far, farm rice beats Costco. Costco's has better skin, but it's dry, er, less flavorful. The dark meat isn't as tender and juicy. The white meat is extremely dry. I think our flavor's better. Our texture is better, the uh, tenderness of it is better, and the flavor overall is better on the farm raised chicken. I was honestly pretty surprised because after I looked at the Costco chicken, I'm like, there's no way we're gonna beat Costco. There's no freaking way. Now, did Costco beat us on the economic side? We got smoked because I could buy Costco for the amount of money that I put into this freaking chicken. But Let's hear it. Costco keeps their chicken super low price. It's not actually priced like correctly. Yeah. They're known for the $5 yeah, rotisserie. That's yeah. what you're saying. It probably actually costs them more. Yeah, they lose money on their on their chicken. Yeah. But if you're looking for cheap chicken, Costco's a decent place to go. I'm not going to bag. But if you have the financial ability to raise your own meat, I would highly suggest it because I think it's superior to anything that you're going to get in the grocery store. So that's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next one. And peace.